Wait a minute, this is no ordinary reel because I am not your ordinary journalist. What's going on, friends? My name is Zach Parnes. I've been building my skills in media since I was a kid. Come on over, 13 year old Zach Parnes is a Sports Illustrated <laughs> kid reporter. Well, actually, the NFL Play 60 event was held yesterday in Central Park, and it was really nice there. At the red carpet premiere right outside of Radio City Music Hall. But most recently, I've been the sports director and fill in news anchor at WBOC in Salisbury, Maryland. Welcome back inside the DSN set, friends. It's another fantastic Monday. We're all on that local locomotive right now. Choo-choo. Let's start with field hockey. From Charm City, we're moving down the line right now to Philadelphia A. The Eagles with an off-season of change. Don't get me wrong. I want to see Paul get rocked harder than ACDC playing in Moab Canyon. But this quasi-celeb deathmatch might be exactly what brings the sport back. I'm a high energy, passionate guy who's ready to help your team. And in this ever changing media landscape, it's all about eyeballs, bringing new ones in and keeping existing ones over time. Woo wee, y'all gonna make me act up right now. Hey boys and girls, welcome back for the first time since basketball season is the final score. Just about 25% capacity, give or take. But for one Oriole fan from the Eastern Shore, Opening day is a religion of sorts, and last year she was deprived of her cathedral. I can shoot, edit, write, and present on cam for just about anything and everything. So let's get to it. We're gonna make the sauce, and this sauce, very simple folks, stick with me. Two tablespoons ketchup and lime juice, and then one tablespoon of light mayonnaise, horseradish sauce, and sweet chili sauce. You know, it seems like there's a new report coming out every five minutes about who's playing and who isn't. Add that to all the scheduling difficulties that the team has had. And let's just say it has not been an easy couple of weeks for the Baltimore Ravens. Guys like Greg Anthony, Jamal Mashburn, Keith Van Horn, Chauncey Billups, and of course, this man. Jason Kidd. You know, they used to call him Asin Kidd because let's face it, in his first few years, he was just missing a J. His crew put together the fastest pit stop of 2021 in that second stage. It proved to be the difference in getting him those extra seconds to take home the checkered flag. Call Elijah Allen EA, so let it be known, EA Sports. It's in the game. Well done. <laughs> the deal would have made Mr. Discount double check the highest paid player in the game of football. Oh no! Oh, that was that was really good video too. Oh, that that's uh, live TV, people. What can we say about it? Not at home anymore, Mike. It's great to have you over my right shoulder, even though I'm looking right into the camera <laughs> right now to talk to you. Let's get your morning started with news from all over Del Marva. Good morning, everybody. You're watching WBOC News this morning. I'm Zach Parnes. I kind of want to ask this guy how he feels about qualifying, but I don't think he'll have much to say. Uh, that being said, Kyle Schwarber thriving under that pressure right now, y'all. He has 11 home runs in his last nine games, 15 total in the month of June. That's the second most in a single season. The only man with more, Sammy Sosa. What athletes do post-game or pre-game is usually a mystery to us fans and spectators. Former UCLA basketball coach John Wooden once said, the true test of someone's character is what they do when no one is watching. And when Berlin's Anya Knappenberger isn't being observed on the wrestling mat, her selfless character shines through. Your typical high school athlete most likely isn't training jujitsu, but this is Anya Knappenberger. Something else fun to do. Gets you moving, good workout. I really like rear naked chokes, it's fun. And arm bars, those are my two favorites. Jujitsu is all about technique, leverage, and mental toughness. Kind of like wrestling, which by the way, Anya is also good at. It's just a lot of fun to get in here and roll around. Um, and then going out and competing is just a lot of fun because you put your skills to the test. In competition, Knappenberger fares pretty well. She placed third at the National High School Coaches Tournament and sixth in the U.S. Women's National Tournament just before the pandemic. I look up to her, you know what I mean? A lot of people do, straight up. She's one of the hardest workers I know, and she's going to continue to do that, and that's why I know for a fact she's going to be very, very successful in whatever she does. She brings fire with to everything she does. And speed Speaking of fire, <laughs> Anya knows a thing or two about fighting them. You have to learn a lot of things. It's not simple learning everything on the fire engine. Different pieces of apparatus. We have the engines, the rescues, towers. When she isn't grappling, the 18-year-old is quite busy, serving as a volunteer firefighter and EMT in Ocean City. 
Knappenberger says firefighting and grappling surprisingly have a lot in common. A team effort from being in the fire department really transfers well with wrestling. You're still going out there and practicing with your teammates. You're out there cheering for your teammates when they're on the mat, when you're competing and everything. Her teammates in the fire hall hold her in high regard. You don't really see a lot of females in a fire department. So for that aspect, it's like really awesome to see someone coming up from, you know, high school doing cadets. When you're inside, you've got one person to lean on. That's whoever you're in there with and I trust her with my life and I believe she'd do the same. She's not afraid to get in, get up in with somebody and say, hey, my name's Anya, this is what I'm doing, you know, how can I help you, what can I do? And she's, she shows that same work ethic around here. She wants to be up in it. Up at the front line, whether it's a real call or just a training exercise, Anya says it's all worthwhile. It's really a great opportunity to volunteer for our community. We can go out and help people and a lot of people are really grateful for our willingness to come out and help them. Anya is one of those people that I don't mind running into a building fire and knowing that she's got the line or I'm backing her up. And if it gets too hot at the station, she always has the gym. I try to convince all the little girls here. I pull them off to the side while Anya's over there working out and I'm like, that's who you want to be right there. I want to be remembered as someone like caring and always like going out to try and help people. But I also don't want it always to be about myself. I also want everyone else that has helped me along the way to be recognized. Anya given real meaning to the word firefighter. The Decatur grad taking her skills to the next level. She's going to wrestle D2 for Gannon University. And of course, she's also doing something community service related as she pursues a career as a physician's assistant.